Okay, here at West Georgia Technology, I'm gonna ask you guys some questions about tips and tricks with phones when they're not working or not doing what we're supposed to be doing with them. Because we're rough on stuff, right? People, mm -hmm. I'm sure yeah. you guys see it all. So obviously a cracked screen, you guys bring in and can fix it. Um, uh, what happens if your phone's in your pocket, you jump in the pool or it falls in liquid somehow? What should I, should I just you know, dry it out and plug it back up? What should I do? My recommendation is leave it alone. They're protecting themselves usually when they turn off. Okay. That's the best thing to do is leave it off because as soon as you put power to it or hit the power button, boom, that's when it pops. Uh, so my recommendation is to bring it to us. You know, whatever you want to take, it's fine, but then we can open it and actually dry it yeah, and they, then turn it back on. And nine times out of 10, you're safe. Gotcha. If it's dry. If they, it's dry. They have water trapped inside they're not aware of. And right. sometimes the rice doesn't get the water out, right? Right. And okay. the phones do say waterproof, water resistant, but, you know, there's still a lot of holes in them if you look at them. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Speakers and all kinds of stuff. Right. Okay. Um, you helped me out, uh, Dakota, with my phone. I said, man, I think my charging port's worn out or is loose or something. He said, it's probably just dirty. He said, yep, it was very dirty. So you guys offer a service, which is pretty cool, that y'all will actually... Uh, check that, inspect it, and then you did a little cleaning on it and mm -hmm. uh, it gets lint from keeping it in your pocket or whatever. Right, so, yeah. uh, you can explain that process, what you do? Uh, so, really, um, when it's in your pocket or if you're out running, sweating, mm -hmm. out working in the yard, dirt, all mm -hmm. that will compact in there and just prevent that charging port from making a good connection. Ah, so, okay. what we do is we'll just get a small little blade and just clean it out and then you're back and working perfectly fine again. Gotcha, but if you don't know what you're doing, you could damage stuff. Absolutely. There are pins, yeah. Absolutely. So how, there's like 30 something pins in there? There's pins in there. I don't know how many exactly there's off a lot. Of my head. Yeah, there's so, a bunch. <laughs> and uh, uh, I think I'd ask a question too. Uh, you know, the little air sprayer thing that you can use to dust your keyboard is probably not the best thing for a phone, is it? I wouldn't recommend it. You could do more damage. Packing crap right. down in there, yeah. You're just making more damage than gotcha. good. Gotcha, okay. Um, what's something else you guys could recommend on somebody, uh, you know, a maintenance or thing? What about overcharging batteries is the best way to charge batteries? Now that is an interesting thing. Um, batteries typically die because people like to keep them plugged in all the time Guilty. and use them. <laughs> Guilty. Especially kids are watching their YouTube videos and stuff, battery dies down and instead of just letting it sit and charge, plug it up with the power and then continue to use it while it's charging. And then you just put all kinds of wear on those batteries. Those lithiums aren't made for that. Remind me to show this part to my kids. <laughs> <laughs> so if it's getting weak, you know, let it charge back up before. Don't watch it plugged in. Yeah, I mean, they usually charge really fast. They so mm -hmm. let them charge 30 minutes, an hour, and then go back to using it again. Okay, good. And uh, you're better off letting it get to a certain point of, of uh, usage before you recharge it? Or, you, you know, what, what does it matter? I mean, we try to tell everybody 10 20% before you run it back up to full charge. Okay. Today's technology, the newer phones, pretty smart now. Mm -hmm. So if you plug them in whenever, they'll only go to 80%. Uh -huh. Yeah, some people will notice they're only charging to 80 and then they stop for a long time. And they wonder why. Well, that was the technology they've built into the new phones uh -huh. to prevent the batteries from going bad so fast. Gotcha. Okay. And they'll so charge the rest at night while you're asleep. Well, there's no usage. Makes sense. So our smartphones are actually smarter than we are, which is, which is pretty good. <laughs> kind of like it turns itself off if it gets wet. It, right. it doesn't overcharge the battery. Okay, that's that's good. Um, uh, you know, any um, any kind of case you think is uh, better than others? I guess having any kind of case is better than not having right. one. Right. Absolutely. Any uh, case better than no case. Sure. Okay. And. Uh, um, how uh, old is a, a phone to, to be worth coming in having it checked out? I mean, any phone you like, you can bring it in. We'll look at it. Sure. So, I mean, we've seen even flip phones still. Gotcha. Can't fix many of them anymore, but, you know, we still see them. Gotcha. Um, Apple and the other ones, they usually about five years as a shelf life on a phone. Right. So they're expecting them to die within five years. They sure. want them to, obviously, because right. you get a new one. But people have five, six, seven-year-old phones and bring them in all the time. If we gotcha. get parts, we'll fix it. Well, I've, I've seen people do that to get old photos sometimes. Right, absolutely. Because yeah. the photo album is pretty much for a lot of people it's inside their device. Everything in their life in there. Back, get a backup. <laughs> mm -mm. Backup of everything is really the best thing to do. Yeah. Right. But, uh, well, good deal. Anything else you could share with anybody as far as you know, electronics in general? Back your stuff up all the time. ICloud. If you got Apple, Samsung backups free. If you got Samsung, mm -hmm. back them up. Because if something bad happens, like your phone busted and you thought it was dead, we were able to save it. But if not, everything would be gone. I, I back my phone up every single night. Yeah. And I have had it happen where I've had a phone just completely died on me. It started coming up different languages. I pulled oh, into wow. a Verizon store on the side of the road. I was out of town. 
and it just it, the phone malfunctioned and fried. <laughs> they couldn't figure out what it was. They sent it back to Apple. Wow. I was able to buy another phone and get right back going. I had the last text message saved up until the point in time where, you know, I backed it up, which was really helpful. I didn't miss much. Mm -hmm. Right. So, yeah, absolutely. I always throw in, don't share accounts with people. That yeah, delete don't stuff. share. Yeah, especially kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard a story of a realtor one time that was, uh, she was a grandmother, her grandkids were on her account, and they didn't want all this extra junk in their phone, went and deleted all of her contacts. Oh, no. Yeah, that could be a bad thing. Yep, she thought she was doing something good by putting them all together, and uh, yep, everybody needs their own account. And I've seen moms it. and children share, and then she take pictures of her baby, the other kid deletes all the pictures on his phone, and then boom, they're gone for everybody. So yep. it's that simple. Yep, have your own. You know, uh, our kids, we set them up all their own accounts, and they don't have the passwords to them. So you know, they exactly. can use them, but we we're the ones that control, control it. Yeah, that way they don't have access to download things we don't want them to. Exactly. Yep. All right, guys, thank you so much. You guys are located here in Carrollton, next to Tractor Supply, right next to the Cryotherapy, next to Tropical Joe's. There's a donut shop. You can come in here, drop your phone off, get it fixed, have some donuts and some smoothies. That's and it. Get frozen and uh, be on your way.